welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. What do we got going on? Okay, are you ready, everybody? Be irresistible. Looking good is a business decision. Today joining me, my friend, colleague, Colette Marie Steffen. She is the host of The Truth is Funny. She's also this amazing artist, which you're going to hear about here more. But the here's the thing. Are you ready to understand why The Truth is Funny and that the end game is all about shifting? Shift happens. That's what this is about. Whether you've read her book, whether you listen to a fabulous hit radio show, whether you look at working with her one-on-one or in groups, or in the end, if one of the things you want to do is upgrade your energy, upgrade your life, this is the show you want to listen to. How do you attract your authentic desires with ease of bees to blossom. And that's what today is about. <laughs> I'm so glad you're joining me, Miss Colette Marie Steffen. Thank hey, you. Pat, thank you so much for the wonderful, wonderful um, introduction. And I, I'm so excited to be on the show with you. I, I admire you so much. Um, this is my sixth year of working with you. Yes. And um, it's every, I have to say that it has been, a, you have been um, one of the huge blessings in my life. And um, all the work, the good work that you're doing. Um, you, you know, you and I were just talking before this show that it's starting to fall into place mm-hmm. yeah. and, and, and you're not dealing with small little stuff. Yeah. But you know, you and I have also worked offline together and you know, what I love is, uh, there is a gift and a talent that each of us have respectively. You're able to cut to the chase and help people in ways that many, many years of psychology couldn't, many, many years of doctor stuff couldn't, uh, many, many years of trying to figure out what money is about couldn't. And that's what today is about. What if we could do something which is instantaneous? What if today everybody out there writes down this number, 1-800-930-2819, or actually you should like to have that program in your smartphone. That's our (laughs) listener call. That's our listener call in number because this is about getting an energetic upgrade and making some shift happen. All right, let's start by talking about what an energetic upgrade is because why do we, why should we upgrade our energy? See, we still don't know the importance of energy in our life. We need a little schooling right here. Okay, so um, I'm happy to school. <laughs> um, I, I was, was not much one for school <laughs> when I was going to school. But, you know, now I understand why. Like, I, I um, you know, I've been writing these manuals. Like, I wrote a book, uh, I guess, five years ago almost now. And it was 513 pages. It was way longer than I thought it was going to be. And I cut it down because it was everything that I had accumulated in the 10 years that I had been doing energy work back then. Um, When I say doing energy work, what I mean is that fundamentally all of us have this ability. All of us. So I was so blessed to have so much shift happen in my life. People were dying in my family, left, right, and center. And if they weren't dying, they were suffering before they Mm -hmm. died. Mm -hmm. And I was struggling with this. I was struggling with looking after my two daughters, 
getting them to all their events, working a full-time job, getting to the hospital, sometimes to visit three people in three different hospitals because everybody in the family got sick all of a sudden at once. And this carried on for like seven, eight years. And um, I've written a short story in a book called Life Sparks, um, mm -hmm. Stories of Inspiration, regarding my father and his journey. And um, my father, at the age of 68, collapsed. And in 36 hours, he was paralyzed from head to toe and could only blink his right eye. Wow. So I was at the hospital with him on and off every day almost for four years. Wow. Sometimes I, had, I was carpooling. I, I was responsible for making sure kids got to their, their stuff. You know what I mean? Um, both, both my daughters were competitive They uh, in competitive sports. My um, oldest daughter was in figure skating in Taekwondo. She was at nationals in both those sports. Um, she was also in cheerleading, and so was my other daughter, and they were both competing at a national level and sometimes at a world level. This required a lot of bingos. <laughs> this required a lot of um, um, creative solutions to how to make money so that you can make this happen for them. Oh, at the wow. same time that a bunch of people are not doing well, and so when my father collapsed and within 36 hours, he was paralyzed from head to toe. Mm. He became my, my number one priority at that time because I was able at that time, I had just moved to the city. I was just a mile away. And so four years, I found myself at the hospital uh, reversing roles with my father and I was parenting him. At, some, at, at one point, when he had um, uh, his trichotomy reversed mm. and he was like that he was supposed to be able to breathe on his own and then they found out he couldn't. Yeah. He was also on warfarin and he was going to bleed to death if they did surgery. So they had to wait like at least 36 hours and he couldn't breathe. So I, I picked up my Lamaze breathing from when I was pregnant and I sat with him for those hours and breathed with him <laughs> to keep him alive yeah. before yeah. he had the surgery. Um, these are creative solutions to uh, a situation when you you just don't know what to do. Yeah. And I was so blessed to write, you know, after my father passed and, and my niece was in a tragic car accident and um, died at the scene and was revived and was brought back by a remote healer, basically. I was like, hey, <laughs> I'm in. I'm going to find out how to do this. I'm going to find out if I can do it. I'm going to find out if other can, people can do it. And I'm going to find out how to do it. And I'm going to tell people how to do this. And I was very bullied in school. So I was scared to talk. So I did what the natural thing to do would be. I phoned a belly dance instructor <laughs> and said, I need to learn how to be on a stage. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh you know, but what are you know, like that doesn't seem it doesn't seem like a rational thing to do. But a year later, I was uh -huh. I was doing a solo in a bar dancing. And, you know, everybody told me I had the best shimmy ever. But it was just because my knees were shaking so bad. Because ah! I was so scared. <laughs> and then you contacted me shortly after. Yeah. And said, you know, I think you should do a radio show. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Uh. <laughs> but you know what? I have, um, since then, you know, one of my mentors, my first mentor, Dr. Cam Ewan, told me that he, he gave me permission to teach his method at certification because he said I was doing it for the right reasons and I was most likely not to succeed out of everybody he had ever met. But ah! I was pretty, he said, but you're very convincing and you're very good at this. <laughs> You know, you know when you get convincing uh, is when yeah. you need to be. <laughs> I, exactly. That's, I was just going to ask you about it because, you know, you and I, we come from places that most people see us and hear us. And, you know, you have a fabulous show. Uh, and, I have and, a fabulous life. You have a, I was just going to say, you have a fabulous life. And, you know, you know people were talking to me like uh, after I finally graduated, after going, taking summer school class twice. <laughs> and people were like, you know, honey, the only place you're going is to a, 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 a five by five cell that has bars on it. And I, I'm just, think, <laughs> right? I just listen to me. I just watched or somewhere. I don't yeah. even remember where a video where this man is saying, and I don't know, he's quite respected. Like I, you have to excuse me because right now I'm writing my layer four manual 
and I, I'm dreaming about Nikola Tesla. And I'm dreaming about what Nikola yeah. Tesla has to say about the 369. And, um, you know, feel free. He, he and I have been working together for 10 years, and now he's hosting my radio show and co-hosting yeah. the first Thursday or the first Wednesday of every month. And I sent him, like, I, I had Kelly um, uh, Lydic on my show, and she was recommended by you. Yeah. And she gave us a, um, a, 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 she, what she called a incubation for dreaming. Um, and wow. quite frankly, I'm very lazy. So I didn't do what I said, but I corrected myself <laughs> to as if I had done what she said. Yeah. And I woke up to this dream doing math in my head Wow. Uh, about Tesla and the Ennead, which is what um, Phil and his brother are speaking about, which is extremely like something that Phil has been working with his brother for two years on. Um, Phil and I have brought it into our corrections. Uh, our energetic shifts. Um, and, and, and the beauty of it is, is that uh, as you start to understand, there are nine personalities on this earth in the Ennead, and there's 12 in the astrological chart. There's so many different cycles and rhythms and numbers that we can go weak to. And we might think that it's this or that, but if you test it energetically, a lot of us are just being caught right now in repeating cycles. And these are um, like, it's like computer programming. Um, you get into like, like people talk about Facebook having a certain um, algorithm that only allows 26 people to contact you mm. if you do things incorrectly. Mm -hmm. This happens in many cycles, in many rhythms, in many processes in our lives numerically. And this is what Nikola Tesla was aware of. Yeah. So, you know, me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm writing coloring books. Yeah. I know. Explain some of the most complicated processes. So I woke up in the wee hours of the morning at like 3.30 in the morning and I'm writing like a mad woman what I'm, I'm, I'm computing in my dreams what Nikola Tesla was talking about the 369. And I sent it to Phil and he's like, oh my God. I said, Phil, wow. you take all the numbers of the Ennead, nine different personality types, and you take their wings, and the wings are either going to make them strong or weak. <laughs> um, if you take all those numbers, they repeat three, six, nine, mm. three, six, nine, three, six, nine. So, um, and, and what what I discovered in my dream is that three rules, God's thumbprint. Six rules, God's thumbprint. Those are one, uh, three rules: wow. one, two, four, and five. And, uh, five, seven, and eight are ruled by six. If you put them in an infinity symbol. <laughs> wow. And well, so I, I discovered all this and I realized, oh, three, six, nine. Then you add it up and you get back to a nine. This is what Nikola Tesla was talking about, that the frequency of numbers, it's like tuning into a radio station. Yes, yes. And so sometimes we can hit a certain number. And, you know, I energetically picked up about a week ago that you were weak to your age. I'm weak to my what? Age. And so H I... How I, old I am? Yeah. How yeah. old are you? mind sharing with us? Uh, I'm going to be 68. Yeah. So you're 67 right now. I am. But when when I picked up, what is weak about 67, when, when you, that wait number? A minute, wait a minute. When did you get this hit? Because this is really curious now. About when, a when week did, ago. Okay. Yes. Do you know what I was doing a week ago? What? Okay. This is, this is perfect. I was playing in a table tennis tournament. Now, here's the deal. I love to play. So I was playing with a bunch of my friends, and it was the Washington State thing. So a week ago, not not like this uh, Friday, but a week ago Friday, oh. I was in this tournament playing with this woman because I didn't know how this worked, Colette. Like, I, I wasn't really clear how they were going to do it because they do it by age. I just wanted to play with my friend <laughs> Tipti. And so here we go. And so all of a sudden, we're playing, and it's like, well, wait a minute. We're actually playing in her age group, 50, two, five, two, <laughs> five, two. And 
uh, and I said to her, I, I mean, there was a realization about age in this thing that I love to do that never entered my consciousness till this moment. And I thought about you and I thought I can let this thing really get to me right in the middle of playing something I love where I'm playing this deal and I'm worrying about the fact that everybody else out there is 15 years younger than me. <laughs> or I could simply show up and play. There you and, go. But you're right about it. And it I was walking on the on beach. To me. I was walking on the beach oh. in the water. Oh. And you popped into my brain. And I, did you win? Gold medal. Of course. Because I, you popped into my brain. And as I walked up and down the beach, Whatever you were doing at that moment, I was just strengthening you to it. Right. And, and your that's weakness is about. Well, yeah. I just want to say to everybody, this is about all y'all out there. Like you call into the show. I brought Colette especially on to all of you for all of you, because what she does, you're going to hear it right now. And what she says, she will strengthen this. Are you worried about money? Are you worried about your health? Are you worried about your job? Are you worried about your children? Are you not taking that next step in your life to do your own radio show because you got some reason? Are you not taking that next step to play in a table tennis tournament with people 15, 17 years younger than you? Are you not dot, dot, dot? This is 1-800-930-2819. We're going to adjust this. 1-800-930-2819. So what did you do on the beach? Well, what happened is I'm walking along and you popped into my consciousness. Oh, man. I saw a little picture of your little beautiful face. Oh! <laughs> and I was like, whatever she's doing, it's strengthened. And you were weak to your age, 67. Yeah. But when I said it out loud, 67, it came up 627. What does that mean? Um, and between the ages of six and seven, something happened to you that. Oh, yeah. Oh, up, my God. Are you um, kidding? Oh. No, the, oh. Uh, so oh. Um, you went. Do you, do you feel that energy running through oh. you right now? When you see, I it's was never sick. what oh. you think Ooh. it is. Oh it God. never is what you think it yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. can so sit you there. Know. What happened to you when you were between six and seven? Okay. That had to be a pivotal year of trauma for me uh, at age six. Right before I was to turn seven, funny you brought that up, uh, my dad had removed me from my household, and I started to bounce around to all of my relatives, Mrs. Meany, and then, because they couldn't stand me, because honestly, I was hiding on the fire escape and all sorts of stuff. I mean, come on, you know me, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was... Uh, you were in crisis. I was choking the dog. Yeah. And so what they did was my what happened that you were in crisis at there the age it is. Of six. Well, they took me away from my mother. People are wondering why people at the border are crazy. Take a six year old away from a loving mother, my mother, my birth mother. But here's the deal. They put me in Catholic boarding school. Nobody goes to Catholic boarding school at age six. And you don't leave a kid there in Catholic boarding school. And I was beat every night in Catholic boarding school because I refused to start jumping up on the beds. And then the second thing was that I was put there because my mom, which I didn't find out till I was 40-ish, my mom attempted suicide because my dad had put her on medication to shut her up. And then I'm in boarding school and I turned to Sister Michael Anthony and we're in the church. I'm the only child in the church with all the nuns now. And I look at the ninth station of the cross and Jesus says to me, hey, um, your mother is with me now. Don't worry. And I said, Sister Michael Anthony, Jesus told me, grab me by my ear, took me to Mother Superior. Mother Superior lifts up her head and says she didn't lie. Her mother is with Jesus. My mother committed suicide. And so there we are, age six. I'm probably the only six-year-old in the history of the church that got thrown out because my Southern Baptist, almost to be stepmom, came in and told the nuns off, and off I went. That's age six. My mother committed suicide November 22nd of that year. And that's what was going on between age six and seven. We were burying my mother. Okay. The 
see how that it's not what you think it is? Yeah. So <laughs> you you were thinking you were thinking that you were weak to playing a game. I thought with people that were 15 years younger than you. Yeah. And <laughs> and I'm telling you what you were weak to. Um, you weren't even weak. Mm-hmm. What you were were you were triggered. Like you are um, every time you think of six and seven. <laughs> this yeah. whole year must have yeah. been brutal for you. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. well, uh, I don't has. believe in yeah. age. You know what I mean? I don't believe in age. Mm-hmm. I don't Leroy, either. Leroy Malouf is on my show quite often. And I've worked with him and we went to Egypt together. And he's 86. And he's been married 65 years. <laughs> wow. And you know what? He is on his 13th or 14th or 15th career. That man is putting on a webinar right now. He is a fountain of knowledge. He's 86 years old, and he's doing more than a lot of people that are 68 years old. Yeah. And he's doing a lot more than a lot of people that are 28 years old. (laughs) It doesn't matter, like, about your age. You can, um, we, a lot of people feel that we get heavier and older because Mm. of age but we age because we get heavier and older Mm. you see yeah I do see and you know it's interesting because um I don't you I don't generally think about my age I rarely can even remember how old I am I know Um, but the trigger was that when you say it out loud yeah it's 66 seven seven that seven, was the yeah. worst years of your life. And yeah. right at the but but having said that, mm-hmm. at that moment, our subconscious mind is done being formed by the time we're seven. So Jesus Christ stepped in to um speak to you. Yeah. And um a lot of children at that age, like once your subconscious mind is formed, a lot of people when they go under very deep stress. What happens if they're under a lot of anxiety? Their mm-hmm. subconscious mind is what Possibly. they rely on. Your subconscious mind is what was what the nuns gave you, what your dad mm-hmm. gave you, what your stepmother gave you, what your culture told you, where you lived, how you were raised, your mother dying. All of those things are your subconscious mind. And 96% of the time, people will rely on that to find answers rather than to go deeper inside themselves and find out what you have to say about yourself. Yeah. Which would be your, you know, Mm -hmm. like your entire being. And because all of the memories are held in the spine, in the cerebral spinal fluid, the central nervous system, the brain and your spine and all the components of that, plus 30% of your heart is made up of central nervous system. And now they're trying, now they're starting to find that also you have another brain in your stomach, in your gut. And so if we don't, if we do not listen to our body and we ignore these um, little gentle nudges that the universe gives us. Eventually, you have to get like the uh, frying pan over the head because we don't listen. And yeah. if we listen to the frying pan, then we get the two by four. We're getting the two by four right now all around the world. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, part of this, too, is um, uh, 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 um, with when I think about this and I think about what you just raised I, I'm also struck by something uh, also very important. You know, I, I've had a um, I've I've had a rough year uh, in terms of uh, looking at myself, and you know, I, I I fell down playing table tennis, right? So mm-hmm. I had a little injury, but actually doesn't really hold me back. But the year you're talking about. I've it's been never a son been, of a gun. <laughs> uh, that, that, when I go back to age six and seven, Ugh. you know what the one thing I remember about that? It isn't about my mother dying or a suicide because I didn't know about that. I had that has been the loneliest point in time in my life. What I went through during that year as a child and the emptiness you feel from being stripped from your parents and then stripped from your family. Like my sister didn't even come pick me up on weekends. There's a sense of loneliness around that. 
uh, that is so hard to describe because as a six-year-old, it's very tribal. It's very primitive. But that loneliness, that thing when it gets triggered, it's not so much about my mother's suicide. I think what you're saying is we have triggers that happen and when they happen, we can't make sense of it because we're trying to focus on a thing in front of us and it may not be that. We're going to take a short break. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, if you want to find out what's really going on, if you want to create a shift, are you worried about anything? Is something not happening in your life that you think should happen? 1-800-930-2819. Give us a call. When we come back, I'm going to give you lots of information about Colette. And we're going to talk about what the heck do we make of a year like this? And then what do we do with it? Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back. Is traditional medicine not working for you? Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. If you are one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903 mind. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Are you, are you searching? Are you searching? Are you looking for a sign? For a, sign. a message you need to hear? From the great unknown? From the most mysterious place? That is the most familiar to your soul? In the depths of who you are? The universe put someone here to talk to. Someone God gave a blessing to. That you may find insight with. The Angel Lady.net. 1 800 323 1790. 1 800 323 Everybody, we have got some stuff going on. We are ready to take your calls. For those of you out there, want to get some insight from somebody that absolutely knows how to get to whatever it is that's blocking you. And, you know, this is really something that Colette and I have been on the show before, and we have talked about everything from finding how to adjust for Lyme disease uh, and much more. But I want to make sure that folks know, one, 
uh, how they can find out more about you, how they can listen to your show, how they can work with you, all of the above. So please, let's give out some information. Okay. Um, it's kind of crazy because sometimes I'm embarrassed at how much I do. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. What is up with that? Um, 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 it's, a, it's coming up like a spiritual weakness to being above average. And um, what I was saying to you during the break is you only have to be 1% better than anyone else at anything you do. And most people want to be perfect. And what I learned, um, you know, we were talking about this Christ energy. Um, Christ, um, I, 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 I did quite a bit of ayahuasca ceremony in Peru. Mm-hmm. And um, Christ came through and Christ told me many things. And people don't want to hear that. That's why the nun slapped you around. How yeah. dare, how dare you say that Christ would speak to you personally. Mm. Well, that's what prayer is for crying out loud. <laughs> yes. And Christ is a portal of energy that's just pure beauty and love. And so when I went out and I was scared to speak in public, I just asked Christ, if I don't have the words, can you please put them in my mouth for me? Yeah. You see, yeah. this is something um, um, for information regarding me. Um I have taken many modalities. I, for 12 years now, I have uh, studiously every day worked probably 16 <laughs> to 20 hours a day on how to shift energy. And my first mentor was such a genius. Nobody really, you know, he's so brilliant that it, you, you, can't, you can't explain brilliance. It's kind of right. like Nikola Tesla. Nikola right. Tesla, the reason why most people on this planet are really freaking out right now is because there's so much misinformation out there. I mean, Nikola Tesla, Thomas Edison did not invite, he did not invent the light bulb. (laughs) He was a very good marketer. Mm. And he liked to electrocute animals to prove that Nikola Tesla didn't know what he was doing. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Nikola Tesla was, was already working on cell phones in 1919. Mm-hmm. Much of our, much of our, um, what we use as technology today was 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 um, inspired by his good work, and yeah. he died a very lonely man, uh, very poor. Wow. And he's never. I never read about him in school. Wow. Where, why isn't he in our textbooks? I want to know. That is a really good question. Why is Nikola Tesla, who has um, created all of these beautiful, wonderful inventions? And, but he was a lousy marketer. Pat, that's where you come in. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> and he was from New York, too. <laughs> well, wait a minute. So you can, everybody go to thetruthisfunny.com. So let's get everybody over there. Yeah. And then I want, go, I want to encourage. Go to tales, yeah, I'm just going to send them that. From the vector, dot com, which is where I do, I've been painting an oracle for 12 years now and um, I didn't mention it for the first four or five years because it's a bunch of dragons and they're from the Intergalactic Federation of Light but now that I have looked into it more I understand where these beautiful wonderful um, beings are like I paint them and they're three by four foot paintings Mm -hmm. and um, I there's 64 and I was like 64 oh my god Mm, wow (laughs) and now on number 61 yeah. And um, so Tales from the Vector, you can go check those out. I like to share my information because it's information I'm sharing. I'm not creating a, pro- a program. What I'm doing right now is I have a new program out called Call to Dance. Wow. My annuals are about 90 pages long each. I'm on my fourth one now. I do not call them levels. I call them layers, um, like the seven-layer veil dance. Um, when people talk about energy work, quite often what they will say is it's like peeling an onion yeah, and yeah. add the layers away. But I, like peeling onions, you still cry. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no kidding. So I decided yeah. let's do a veil dance and throw a veil off one layer at a time to get to the gem inside. Mm. So none of us, like I, I'll tell you right now, if you've had a tough year, good for you. Mm. That means you're ready to move forward. Yeah. You put the time, you put the energy in. What's happening right now, we have eight planets in retrograde. 
um, when planets go into retro retrograde, what it means is that it looks like from the Earth's perspective, like they're going backwards, but they're just sort of sitting there. Oh, we, wow. And so we've got eight planets doing this right now. Wow. Until, so if you've been having this kind of like last two months where nothing's happening and no matter mm -hmm. what you do, it won't work, it's okay. Go deep inside yourself and ask, what is it that I really want to, what are my authentic desires? That's what mm -hmm. my Be Irresistible program is about. Wow. So I have now on Facebook, I have a Be Irresistible page spelled B-E-E. -E. I have a Tales from the Vector and I also have my Truth is Funny. And um, my Be Irresistible, um, I used to do years ago, Telespas, where people can, you know, it's $40, you can sign up, you can check this out at thetruthisfunny.com. And um, I have people send in one issue, like a sentence long, but right now, like um, I'm, uh, on, on Thursday, this coming week on the 9th, is the Telespa. And mm -hmm. the first one was be irresistible. It, you can actually energetically shift yourself to be younger than you really are. Yeah. Which wow. You did when you were playing that tennis. Yeah. You, know, you had no doubt your body had total memory. Yeah. Because you've done this before. You know you're good at it. You won two gold medals. Yeah. Well, let's do this. We have a caller that okay. uh, is calling from New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New York. We're talking about New York. and We have a caller from New York. Mr. Banny, who do we have? And we'll take Nisa calling in from uh, New York, of course. Nisa, welcome to the show. Hey, hey Nisa. Hi, Nisa. Hi. Hi. What, what can we do for you today? Yeah, I was looking at this thing. There's some, uh, you guys were doing something like an energetic healing or a reading or something? Upgrade. No, energetic upgrade. So uh, we want to know, like, you heard uh, Colette talk about, like, how she was strengthening me, right? And so what do you need strengthened in your house? And maybe I'll turn you over to uh, uh, Colette Marie and let her figure it out. <laughs> okay. Okay. What, can, um, what, what would you like to accomplish in this next five minutes? Yeah. Um, in terms of what? I don't know. Of anything. Is there anything. something that, are, do you have a pain in your body? Or are you worried about something? Do you uh, wish you could yeah, have something that you don't have? Constipation. Constipation. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So on a scale, I like to get a baseline on a scale zero to 10. 10 being like, I'm really upset about this. And zero being, ah, I don't care at all. Whatever. Where are you on <laughs> Maybe that scale? A five. Yeah, I got you're a five because yeah. you're stuck in the middle. What age are you? I'm over 35. Okay, so you're over 35. I, I'm over 35, too. <laughs> Me, too. Like, and uh, actually, long, um, I know I, that. I'm, I'm over 35 by a couple of decades. Okay, so <laughs> oh, what, really? I want, That's quite what I want to yeah. Okay, so what I want you to understand is like um, I'm getting the energy from you that you're stuck in the middle. Yeah, And, you know, like on my telespa, um, I talk about this quite a bit. Um, my telespa, people say, isn't that shallow? There's all these big problems in the world. And you're working on people wanting to have perky boobs. <laughs> That's on <laughs> Thursday. Um, my uh -huh. call is per cup. The last one, I think, was um, facial re-engineering. Um, the one before wow. that was fat wallet, skinny jeans. I have people... <laughs> who are now um that they they are releasing weight yeah. just by being on my call and they yeah. went off sugar and they don't even know why they didn't even plan to actually what happened i did my fat wallet skinny jean call and i for uh since i was 13 years old i've had two sugars raw sugar in my coffee and for the first time i ran out of sugar that day after my my call and I've been off sugar ever since. I have no cravings for sugar. I don't. I like. I like my coffee without sugar in it. Yeah, I do too now. Who knew? <laughs> yes. And yes. my whole it's life, I, I, I was telling myself that I have to have sugar in my coffee, because I did that for since I was 13. I had my first business when I was 15. So, you know, it, it's it's kind of one of those things like where you recognize. Wait a minute. Do I really? Um, do I, and this is what's going on with you. So when people are constipated, 
it means that they're stuck. And yeah. quite honestly, what happens, and this is what's coming up for whatever wh- whatever reason right now, the number one weakness for the people that are listening right now yeah. uh, is age. And I'm going to tell you, looking good is a business decision. Many metaphysical people that are in alternative healing modalities don't look that good. <laughs> 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 like, you know what I mean? So yeah, they'll say, like, I'm mean. focusing on the world. Like, there's starving children in the world. I, 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 gotta, I have to focus on them. They don't put the energy into themselves. And so I'm just strengthening you and everybody else listening right now. When we get constipated, that is our body telling us that we're not breathing. Uh, mm. When our, our, resp- like our, our lungs are very intimately connected to our colon, Mm-hmm. And we have an ascending, a transverse, and a descending colon. And if those three components, the ileocecal valve is um, at the um, small intestine, large intestine, and then you've got the valve of Houston, which is down by your rectum. So, you know, I, I laugh about this because my book, The Truth is Funny, um, when people buy it, like I had all sorts of people, like, and I mean, <laughs> contacting me, I got your book and I'm on the toilet, uh-huh. having, having a shift. <laughs> my, my book is actually Great, isn't it? Um, toilet toilet um, humor so the average person thinks that if they have one bowel movement a day that that would be enough and no. it's more it's more beneficial to have 10 a day um, what people don't understand is if they're eating food and they're weak to what they're putting in their body what happens is it gets stuck so, you know, if, if like for 35 years I've been putting sugar in my coffee and one day I decide I'm not going to do that anymore, all of a sudden my body's going, woo! <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> and you see, um, people have a weakness to change. Yeah. And so you have a weakness to eliminating things from your life. Yeah. And one of the things when I studied with Nassim Haramine the, that stuck with me is when he said there is no beginning and there is no end. Mm-hmm. And when you get used to that, you can get used to anything in between. So what I teach people is how to actually identify and eliminate the actual energetic weakness that is causing them a problem. And like in Pat's case, it was just the fact that when she said, oh, my God, I'm 67, she heard 627. Yeah. And when she was 67 years old, that was the worst, worst time of her life ever. And so she's reliving it every single day while she's 67 until I corrected <laughs> it. And now she's not because now she doesn't care. Do you care if you're 67, Pat? I don't you're really, no. no. It's like you're five. Who cares? Yeah. And actually the experience from it wasn't, it's, it's sometimes it's like we talked about earlier in the show. It's not what you think, you know, I, I, I mean, I can really count on one hand how many times in my life I have felt lonely. Uh, and oh. yet it was something about this year that affected me in that way. And so I think what Colette is saying is going to be extremely helpful to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling in. Um, uh, Colette, I want to ask you again, please let folks know about your show. And I I also want them to know about your book because the truth is funny is really something that I like to call it the encyclopedia of upgrading. Yes. Um, So what I did in this book is Mm -hmm. um, I learned a long time ago when I was putting ads out, um, if I corrected them and my business cards. And when I say corrected them, what I do is I just ask myself, I go inward and I ask, what is it? Does this feel strong or does this feel weak? And this is what I teach in the morning at my seminars. I run two uh, seminars um, right now. I'm only doing seminars in Canada because I'm writing all these manuals and I'm doing all these paintings and I want to finish it. And um, I'm, my, my manuals are coloring books because, uh, and there's about 80 pictures. They're like those anatomy coloring books. Because what I have found is when, when, when people come to my seminars, um, what I found is if, if, if you could keep the mind happy by getting it to do something, like write or color or whatever, then I can, I can come in on the other side from the heart 
and um, energetically shift them at a way higher rate. Yeah. So really, when people come to my seminars, I'm sharing information, but the whole time mm -hmm. I am energetically shifting the people there for an entire weekend. And the people that are attending the seminar are all working with each other to get what they want. We set an intention. Everybody tells me, I want to get this out of this weekend. And I'm getting amazing results, and I love it. So that's why I called it Call to Dance, because partly because um, when I was too scared to get up and speak because I'd been bullied so badly as a child, um, I went and took belly dancing classes, and it was my call to dance. Yeah. <laughs> and the other reason is, is because my dog was named that. <laughs> 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 and Moxie was um, quite an animal. <laughs> but like this is um, what um, I, I share this in many ways. My, my radio show yeah. right now, I, I've worked with Phil Free for 10 years. We've worked together almost yeah. every day for 10 years. Um, he's hosting on, on the, the first Wednesday. Karen Campbell Benton is also hosting on the third Thursday. Her and I have worked together for about seven years. These are in in and this is not my opinion, energetically, anyone who wants to test this, these people are um, the upper 4%. These are experts at what they do. They have been doing what is going to become one of the most major ways of healing because there's nothing left but energy work right now. Everything else has kind of been explored. <laughs> and honestly, when I started doing this work, I didn't know about body parts. I called it the wedge call it next to the doohickey. Uh -huh. And people would listen to a show I was on, and I have many documented cases of where people straightened out their body, their backs were so messed up, people who were dying, people who mm -hmm. had cancer, people who, um, you know, um, had major spine injuries, etc., people who had body parts that hadn't worked for six years, and all of a sudden mm -hmm. they miraculously did Babies that, babies that were born that were supposed to be unhealthy, that were perfectly healthy. Um, wow. All of these things are so possible. And I see it every day, and I forget sometimes how magnificent it all is. <laughs> right. I think we do forget, and we also forget how possible change is and shifting is, Even you know, because people, we don't think about it, right? No, reason is, Pat, because people don't pay attention to change mm -hmm. usually unless it's crappy change um, oh that's right I yeah can, i can energetically shift someone like the other day she was she had to have a root canal and it turned out to be a filling instead but she was sad after and she didn't know why and it's because she didn't have a bother anymore and then she's afraid okay like if i don't and this is very common with children who have been raised roman catholic is that uh, um, the other shoe's got to drop. If something good happens, something bad has to happen. But this has nothing to do with religion. This has to do with cause and effect. Um, we, we um, when we put people on a pedestal, there's only one place for them to go, down. Yeah. And so people reach their ultimate best. That's when they go yeah. the weakest because they know that, hey, i got to be careful here because someone's going to knock me off this pedestal. And that's usually when they do some dumb, lame thing to ruin everything they've been working on for seven years. <laughs> and it, it runs in seven-year cycles um, on a spiritual level. So we're just going to strengthen everybody out there. These are trying times. And I hate to tell you this, but there is no magic pill. Um, as a matter of fact, as you energetically shift... What happens, it becomes more of a roller coaster because things happen way quicker. Right. So what right. you would get over in three years, you now get over in three minutes. Yeah. One of the things I want to say about this and what you just said is uh, what you and I are talking about and what I've heard on your show and the people you work with, um, we're talking in some cases uh, everyday things that happen, just like the caller, which is related to something else. But I've also heard you and and you have worked with people that nobody else gave any hope to. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? They were told that they were dying. You're going to die or uh, uh, your I mean, life is going to suck. You aren't going like to ever be able to do. the correction you yeah. did for Lyme disease. Right. Mm -hmm. And the woman that I believe that uh, 
uh, created that testimonial for you. I mean, yeah. Uh, well, Will and reality. I, Will Hatch and I worked mm -hmm. on a, um, a protocol mm -hmm. for Lyme disease, and it came to us, and we worked on it. And then that woman listened to it, and when she listened to the second half, she phoned into the second half of that show. Yeah. And said that she doesn't have any symptoms anymore, and and everybody's like surprised, but I'm not. I I okay. Everybody else was shocked. I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> 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 I do demos. I give um, Shift Happens live talk events yeah. on the Friday before my 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 um, um, seminars on Friday night because I like to have my my students come and then we 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 like to go out dancing. Yeah, we go to a local bar and we dance and it's five dollar cover charge and it's always a live band and we go there and we get our we it, it creates family and then. The, the entire weekend we work with each other and many of these people that are my students I have thousands all around the world I have one of my most wonderful students is in Egypt um, when Leroy Malouf and I went over there five or six years ago and taught a seminar and now that this man has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students mm -hmm. in the Emirates and in Egypt teaching how to do energy work wow <laughs> Well, you know, this is it. And by the way, uh, Raul is like, you are on fire, Colette. Well, you know, we, it, there's a reason to be on fire because you and I are passionate about, we're passionate about where we are in life. We're committed to our vision and our mission. And, you know, one thing for sure is to really talk loudly, to be vocally clear and to create an energetic vibration, a shift that allows people to know that we are not limiting their lives, not on air, we're not, not ever. We're not limiting them, their journey, and what's possible by any outside situation. Exactly. And the way that you do that is by getting neutral. My book yeah. is about neutrality. It's about... Um, if you can, if you can handle the absolute worst case scenario, which most of us are living on this planet right now, look, right. we're on fire because we have a president in the United States that had a show that said, you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we right yeah. now have Mars in <laughs> retrograde and it's a very aggressive planet. And I, we have, a, and we you, have a, I'm a little bit eclipse. happy. I'm a little bit happy about, I, you know, uh, tell, oh, my God, we're, we're out of time. I got to tell you, <laughs> am I the only one on the planet that gets happy when these planet goes, gets in retrograde? Because am, it no, slows it down for me. Exactly. This is what I was just going to say. Um, this is something that I share in my manuals, and it's about the Fibonacci series. Nature counts one plus one equals two. Two reaches back in time for one, becomes three. Three reaches back in time for two and becomes five. Five reaches back in time and becomes eight. If we look at nature and we spend at least half an hour a day in nature to an hour a day, I would advise even more. And we see this, that in the pine cones, in the tree branches, in the flowers, in every, every single thing in our bodies, we all have this special uh, uh, Fibonacci series. And the thing is, it's natural in nature to go backwards if you, all you ever do pat is march forward in your life then you're marching aren't you oh, but if yeah. you want to dance through life you got to go backwards you got to go sideways you got to have some fun yeah and so, i gotta tell you it depends on what band you're marching with if you're part <laughs> of the bethune cookman uh marching <laughs> band that the whole movie Drumline was made out of. You are marching, you're jumping, you're going backwards, you're going sideways, you're doing uh, squat dancing. That's the way to live a thriving life. Exactly. Colette, thank you. <laughs> Tell everybody when your show's on so they can tune um, in. Wednesday morning, to, um, tomorrow, 8 yeah. o'clock Pacific time. And, um, you know, Mercury's in retrograde, communication went a little sideways, and I ended up, oh, we kind of somehow didn't have a guest for the show, so I, it is, I'm so excited. Phil, I asked him, do you want to come on my show, because I really miss working with you on the show. So tomorrow, if you would like to call in, 1-800, the same number that we have here now, 
um, into my radio show. Phil and I are going to be working together on the radio for the first time. Mm. You know, we work together on, not on the radio, but we're going to be working together on the radio for the first time in a long time together. Um, wow. Tomorrow. And um, we're both on fire. <laughs> wow. And by the way, you're going to see and hear a lot more from Colette Marie Stephan because I said to Linda, why isn't she regularly on the show with me? So she doesn't even know that. Colette Marie <laughs> Stephan, the truth is funny.com. All of you out there, stay tuned. We're not done yet. We are really kicking it up today. We'll see you in a minute. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.